day 10. <clears throat> I'm uh, almost at the end of this uh, isolation time, guys. I'm excited. I'm uh, going to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So I'm going to wait till uh, about lunchtime to give it a true uh, 10 days of isolation since I first tested uh, positive for COVID. Um, so I'm going to have breakfast here and walk out and take my time and then uh, get uh, get food for dinner and start making food. So see people. I did kind of uh, see-ish people from a distance today. I went and got my... Uh, car washed which it felt weird driving that was my first time driving since i got covid <laughs> so it was uh like a nine and a half days um since i drove or yeah yeah just since i drove my car um so that felt really weird driving but that was pretty funny um let's see let's see let's see uh i still have some like uh Sorry, I was trying to explain that I yawned. Uh, where it's like pop my ears kind of feeling. Um, it's a little bit of congestion there. I don't feel like I'm like super stuffed up or anything like abnormally. Um, I still took uh, Mucinex today. Um, I think I said I was going to stop doing that because uh, I'm, not, I'm not coughing anything up. This is like, like once a day. I feel like I'm trying to cough something. It's like once. So it's, I feel like it's ridiculous taking two mucinex a day for that one cough, you know? So I think I'm trying to force something out that's not actually there. Um, might help me uh, feel better too. I'm not throwing more meds at my liver than need be. Um, but still taking my multivitamin and my vitamin C shot, um, which is my emergency. So taking that uh, every day. Um, energy wise, I feel feel good. Uh, I, again, I haven't done a legitimate workout yet, so I don't know how that feels. But again, I'm sticking with pull ups throughout the day. Uh, did some, uh, doing push ups as well now, and doing our little wrist mobility stuff. Um, just because I'm trying to make my wrist not as cranky, because I. I'm always injured because I like to test my limits a little too far when my body's not ready for it. So that's why I keep talking about wrist mobility because um, it hurts when I put pressure on it, which shouldn't be there. Um, Bio and I did about a mile and a half total today. Uh, explored a lot. Um, did the car wash thing. That was big. Driving, see how that felt. Felt great. Car looks good. That's it. So tomorrow will be my last uh, video, unless more random stuff comes up. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say enjoy my weekend. It's not gonna be like crazy, but uh, I'll. I feel nervous saying this. I'll probably go to the coffee shop, do some studying, get some uh, work done ahead of time for getting prepared for the work week um, starting Monday. Um, I may be a little too nervous now. I feel like I totally, like, invested into my isolation, so I feel weird going out and being in public now. I feel like I should be always isolated. Um, but I want to get better, and I want to feel 200% better. And so I'm just nervous now that I'm once I put myself in public, I won't feel as good as I should. Or, I don't know. It's funny. I got a little nervous doing this, which I've been the complete opposite during this entire time of covid but now that I got it, it makes me a little more weary. So I guess it's a good learning lesson. It's usually how most of my lessons in life are learned. So I uh, throw myself in there and uh, get burned by the fire. So, or I drown, or whatever the you know symbology you want to use there. Um, what's the other word? Symbology, mythology, rhetorical. I can't think of that word. Metronome. When y'all are gonna get that word and you're gonna tell me on this on this clip. Anyways, uh, so that's the update. Um, tomorrow will be the last one. So see you then. I'll miss doing videos with you guys.